Hello there guys, I'm Resident Evil Knievel and I welcome you back to some more Let's Play The Darkness. Now on today's ad ad <coughs> excuse me, agenda, I'm going to go on trying to find, what's his name again? Compton Scar. Let's just post a letter first. Didn't even know I had some letters to post in the first place. So apparently he's uh, somewhere around Clark on Waterfront. That's the road's names by the way, but let's have a look at the map. Uh, the map. Alright, okay. So. Waterfront is up there and Clark is there, so he's apparently on the corner of those two. So we are at Thompson Street there, so let's just follow the road down there. And apparently he's standing with his Chevy friends, who we are also going to take down. And then we can get the harmonica and we can take it back to my man Hadel. And then we can go and continue the actual game, you know, like the yeah, the mission with Aunt Sarah. Got to go and find. Um, Butcher Joyce is apparently sleeping over at Aunt Sarah's house. Those two are having an affair now. My God. Alright, so it's somewhere around here. Wait, we've, we've killed them. Oh my God, I think we've killed them already. How stupid of me. I swear there's... I swear a harmonica somewhere here. That's Comscar, isn't it? Oh, I killed him already. And I didn't pick up his harmonica. Oh boy, let's just read the objective updated now. So where is it? Harmonica. You took care of Scar and they got the harmonica. Hader would probably like it back. I presume he would. I can't believe I just actually defeated them. It's funny, I just defeat them, but I don't seem to go. I don't never expect them to drop anything on them or something, you know? Because most of the enemies don't drop any possessions in this game, and that's. I guess that's kind of a one off, but since you don't know, it was actually Compton Scar, because it's hanging around camouflaging with other bunch of similar chavs. You get what I'm saying though, don't you? <laughs> anyway, good thing we got the harmonica. And we didn't have to fight anymore with them. And they were in a place called Chav Hell. It's a special hell where, you know, they keep chavs. And, uh, you know, Satan burns their bum holes and starts hurling abuse at them. Am I chatting shit again? I think Com um, not Compton Scar, his victim, Hadel, I think he's in the I think he's in um this Canal Street. I can't remember these damn subways. I guess I've got a cup of tea with me here so I can sip on it. I'll be sipping on these during these mind blowing cutscenes. Or loading screen shall I say. Oh this guy's gonna be thanking me. I bet he's going to give me a, like, a collectible phone number. That's all I'm good for, isn't it? A collectible phone number. Right, Hadel? Where are you? I could have sworn he was around here. Something tells me he's at the other station. No, maybe he's down there. I think he's on the other side of the station. Sorry about that. Good thing I didn't get on the train and actually go to... Fulton Street Station. That would have been a fuck up there. There is he. That's him. Alright, Hado, well, I got your harmonica. What'd you have to say about that? You're a good boy, Jackie Estacado. I won't forget what you've done for me here. Cheers, Macy. I really appreciate that song. Thanks, uh, Hado, again. I'll see you sometime. We might as well call this phone number before we actually go and visit um, Aunt Sarah in Lower East Side and Butcher Joyce. So, collectible phone number <coughs> number 45. I think I've been there, but I haven't seen the jewelry shop yet. I think the reason why that jewelry shop hasn't got any customers going there is because there's a lot of um, intimidating chavs hanging around. So I've taken out a bunch of them. So their business might be booming now. So the chavs are not hanging around there anymore, intimidating the people that are trying to go to the jewelry shop. They should be happy now. All right, it's time to go to visit um, Butcher Joyce at Aunt Sarah's yard. We can actually continue the main mission for once now. 
all of the side missions are done, but there's only one remaining, which is something, but, you know, I can't even bother to do that, to be honest. It's about finding a, you know, some guy in a door number, I think, room something. It's not 215, I don't think. But yeah, you have to go to those apartment buildings and then, you know, try and locate, you know, a door number that is exactly the same as that and then kill the guy or something, I don't know. But I seriously cannot be bothered to do that. It's going to be at least like five hours of me running around trying to look for apartment buildings and then realising that I've just done, gone to the wrong area. Has this frozen on me now? This loading screen has frozen on me, I think. Oh, bollocks, man. Oh. No, this loading screen's not going to load up. Okay, you know what, folks? I'll be back once I've actually loaded the damn fucking thing. Alright, be right back, folks. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about what just happened there. My um, The game actually froze on me for the first time ever. And just when I went to go into Lower East Side, it actually froze on me. I actually done a test of this game. I actually went to other areas like Trinity Cemetery and um, uh, Chinatown. I tried to see if it actually worked there and it did. It loaded up fine and I can get into those areas. But for some reason, every time I tried to enter Lower East Side, it would not let me for some reason. And what I had to do to actually get it working again, I had to replay Chapter 5 all over again. So I had to do all those other, you know, little side missions that I just done and quests. Just to get to this point, but finally we could actually go to see um, Butcher Joyce in um, <coughs> Aunt Sarah's place. Finally. So let's go and have a look at what she's been up to with this guy. Ring doorbell. Jackie, oh, you're still alive. Oh, thank the Lord. Indeed. <sighs> what are you doing with that man? Oh my God, are you sleeping with him? Holy catfish, that's the first I've ever heard Jackie, of that. Is that you? This problem with your Uncle Polly has gone on long enough, Jackie. It's time to take action. I think the decision has just about made itself anyway, what with the way he's been carrying on. Now, some old friends of the family want to know what they can do to help. Okay, so I didn't know you, you two were seeing each other. This is not right, you know. I come to discuss that with, uh, with you lot. He's too ugly for you and you're too old for him. Okay. Oh my god, you're so scary. I'm moving away. So, Aunt Sarah, what do you know about this Mother of God stuff? Please tell me. I'm interested. Eddie Damn, her shadow looks like a man's head. Something about the Mother of God. It was supposed to be an inside joke, but it meant something. <coughs> now, I think there's some kind of connection. To the Chicago families, something Paulie wants to keep to himself. Mother of God? Like the Virgin Mary? You don't suppose he's talking about the Santa Maria? Has this got something to do with the religions? Okay, Been running shipments of drugs into the harbor for years. Too close. Knowing Eddie, he wouldn't resist a chance to talk about it to a dying man. <laughs> he always did have diarrhea in a mouth. Especially if there's something big going on. Chicago family's going to be real interested in what happens here, Jackie. This is going to be your best chance to get Paulie out of the picture for good. You just say the word. And I'll help if I can. Of course we have to ask this guy for help. I mean, like, who else going to help us? I don't think she can help us. She's too old. I don't think she handles guns. So, Butcher... Oh, God. Let's ask him for help. Can you help me slaughter? Um, um, what's his name again? Paulie. I want to know more about this Santa Maria Butch. Anything there I can use against Paulie? Listen, Jackie. I would never normally say this. <clears throat> you know me. I never choose sides. But you already put a hole in Paulie's finances when you took out Dutch Oven Harry's operation. You put a few holes in that boat, Santa Maria. <laughs> Chicago family's gonna pull a plug, and Paulie will find himself swimming to the bottom of the river. It's where he belongs. I need to know how to mess up Paulie's deal. 
They got people inside the Coast Guard. They usually wait for the coast to clear, and they call the Santa Maria in from the harbor to make a shipment. <clears throat> There's a radio they use down at Grinders Lane, tuned to the correct frequency at all times. You get to that radio and call in, and they'll send the boat. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so we have to go and find a radio frequency. Um, we have to tune into Paul EFM. The boat's name is Santa Maria. You should go to Grinders Lane and find that radio. No problem, Grandma. Let's just have a look at the update quickly. So, um... Okay, so the Mother of God is a Chicago family boat called the Santa Maria. Putting a few holes in, in that would mess things up for Paulie. And his deal. Butcher mentioned the radio at Grinders Lane that you could use to call it in. Alright, that's cool. We're gonna be a lifeguard now. Take the exit from Fulton Street, Fulton Street Station to Grinders Lane and find that radio. Alright, okay, I know where the fuck Grinders Lane is. Goodbye. Do, Enjoy your sleepovers.